welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and I have a Timu haul for you today. I am so stinking excited to bring you this video. Uh, when Timu reached out to me for their affiliate program, I wasn't quite so sure. I had only ordered from Timu once last Christmas, but I did have a really good experience with the products that I got from Timu. And so when they reached out to me, I was like, okay, let me check into the program and everything. And so I was like, okay, what's it going to hurt? I'm going to go ahead and apply. And they gave me a $40 bonus to go ahead and go shop for free. So this portion of this Timu video is sponsored by Timu because these were free products to me. Uh, but I'm really excited because in addition to that, I had a huge Timu cart already collected. Um, and this caused me to pull the trigger on the rest of that cart. So in addition to the free products, I'm going to show you guys today that Timu, um, gave me the credit to shop for. Um, I also have a huge haul after this first portion. So I filmed it in two separate, um, videos, packages, whatever, because, um, I couldn't wait until I got both packages in. So I got my other package first because I kind of paused on placing my affiliate order because I was hoping that some Christmas stuff would come out. Hasn't yet, but I decided to go ahead and do a craft Timu haul because I have a craft room. So if you're new tuning in just because of the Timu haul video. I know that that's kind of a big deal right now. So maybe you're just now finding me. Um, I just a little about myself. I am a wife to Scotty. I'm a mother to Riley and Aiden that are teenagers. Um, and Katie, who is an adult that has two children. So therefore I am a grandmother. <laughs> um, we are very busy family with sports and everything. And so several years ago, we came up with the idea that we needed a space for mom to get out of the house and, um, last year, my husband built and finished, um, this craft room for me. So I am in my, <laughs> my space, my happy place. I love my craft room. And so when I had the opportunity to do this promotion with Timu and choose a craft haul, I was like, yes, please sign me up. I was so excited that they had this campaign. So I, this video is already long enough. I know because the other portion is like, 40 minutes worth of footage. Hopefully I can get it cut down a little bit. We shall see. Um, but I want to share my affiliate link on the screen here. It's also going to be down in the description description box. So if you are interested in Timu, you haven't downloaded the app, you don't know what Timu is. Timu is a online marketplace with very affordable products with very good quality. As much as it may seem, you're like, oh, this they're going to be crap because it's so cheap. I promise you the things that I have gotten, I'm, and I'm not even saying this because it's a, a, a you know, partially sponsored video. Like this jacket, spoiler alert, you're going to see it later because I just got it. And I couldn't remember if I ordered it for my daughter or myself. It's for me because it fits me perfectly. It is so cute. It's like super cozy. It's so soft. I wish you could feel how soft this is. I mean, the buttons are cute. It's just, it is a very good quality product. And I think I only paid a couple of dollars for it because I had a mystery box that came up. And so I got 90% off of one item. And this is the one I chose because it was the highest priced item in my cart. So that's another awesome thing. There are so many coupons. And if you are a first time Timu app downloader, you automatically get a hundred dollar coupon, which it's split up. So like, depending on how much you spend, it's a coupon bundle, depending on how much you spend, you get off. But my big order at the end was over $400 and I only paid $167 for it because of the amazing deals, the coupon bundles that you get, the mystery boxes and the deals that you get. So, um, I got this for super duper cheap, but everything on there is so affordable and it's, it's awesome. So that bar is to come. You will see me open this and the rest of a bunch of different items later in the video. You'll see what you can get for just a fraction of the cost of any other online marketplace. Um, the shipping is fast. The shipping is domestic. It comes from like New Jersey is I think where my other one. Yeah, this one also came from New Jersey. So um, 
it's it comes domestically i'm sure they come from another country but to you they come from a warehouse here so shipping is so much faster they have a guarantee on their products um if you don't like it you can um you know make your claim some items you don't even have to ship back um I'm trying to think of what other benefits there are to shopping timu um they also have a guarantee if you don't get your shipping in time you get a five dollar credit on your account um it's just a really great website so I highly encourage you to check it out if you have not already again affiliate link is down in the description box all of these items that are in here haven't even opened it yet are also going to be in my description box um, these will be affiliate links so if you purchase any of these I will get a small kickback from them but I will also try and link as many of the other products I can those will not be affiliate links that's just so that you can find the product um, a little bit easier if it's something that you two are also interested in. So let's crack this baby open. I'm so excited to see what I got. I will try not to be long in opening this, but um, again, if you're new here, you don't know this, but my mantra is long story long. I don't make things shorter. I'm here. I like to talk. God gave me the gift of gab and my subs, my, my YouTube family, they like it <laughs> that way. So if you like some chatty videos, you're in the right place. You're going to enjoy. Okay. Um, everything comes in like these Timu poly bags. They're really nice. I actually saved a lot of them back in my little like packaging thing. Um, not that I need a Timu bag, but sometimes it's nice to have a big Ziploc bag for other things. So um, yeah, it's a really nice thick poly. So hey, freebies. Who doesn't like freebies? Okay. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot what I ordered because it's been a couple of weeks, but I'm so stinking excited. Um, so let's dive right in. We're going to start with a mystery item. I don't know what it is. These labels don't usually help. No. <laughs> 120 milliliters, four ounces. I don't know what that's going to be. So I know a lot of things I got were for jewelry making. I want to get into a little bit of jewelry making. Plus I know my teenage daughter will love that. Um, and so I know I got a bunch of beads and stuff, but oh mercy, what is in here? Gloves. Oh, okay. I remember what it, the gloves gave it away. I know what it is now. It's a, an epoxy resin kit. Oh my goodness. That's really exciting. So there is one thing and here is another thing. And I do believe you mix them together if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. There's a blue and a, hopefully there's an instruction manual. There's not. <laughs> okay. I'll have to be YouTubing how to do this. Okay. But it comes with little sticks, I guess, to mix it up and droppers to probably get the correct amount because they are measured and some little finger glove things that you can put on your fingers to work with the product. So uh, I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting to get into some resin stuff and I think I got a mold in here somewhere too. Um, again, I don't remember the prices. If I can, I'll put the prices on the screen, but they will also be down in the description box for hundred percent sure. Um, I'm going to set this over here so I can see what else. Oh, yep. More jewelry stuff. So this is a big box of just little um, things like jump rings and like to make pendants and let's see. Oh, like little screw things to make necklaces. So like, yeah, if I do the epoxy stuff and I need to screw into a charm or whatever and some little clasps for leather making and stuff. So yeah, all kinds of different jewelry making accoutrement that I might need for that. Let's just stick with it. Oh, okay. 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 So this is like pigments for the epoxy. So there were so many to choose from. I could not decide exactly what I wanted, but these bright colors were bright colors, super cute and pretty. And I thought it would be really fun to mix these with the epoxy and just make some fun colors there. Um, hmm, unless it's in the other one, I'm not seeing a mold, but we'll get there. Okay, so I think I said lots of jewelry making stuff, and here are a lot of the things. So I got some tiny little Indian beads. That's what we call them. I hope that's not offensive, but um, just, you know, for like beading, beadwork. Um, super pretty. These really pretty. It's not already a necklace. They just had them strung on there, which I guess I could turn it into a necklace, but that's just how they came. But really pretty glass beads. 
I think, yep, I got two different color combos of those. Um, I just got some sports balls. I thought these would be fun for making like keychains or I want to make some like lanyards because I'm a teacher. And so, well, I'm a paraprofessional. I'm going to school to be a teacher. I would love to have just a lot of really different cute lanyard options. Um, and then some really cute, just metal charms, all kinds of different, um, designs and shapes and, um, you could do like charm bracelets or just individual necklaces and things like that. I thought these were awesome. They are a little ring you put on and you've got these grooves in it and it's to help you like bend and twist jump rings to make jewelry and things like that. I literally have, um, yeah, there's jump rings in this, but I also have some other jump rings. They are so hard to use. And so I was excited to see that because it's definitely something that I have struggled with opening jump rings. And so I was like, oh, that is a awesome nifty little thing. Uh, just a bunch of little keys again for necklaces, keychains, um, and yeah, just whatever else, um, that I might decide I want to do with a key charm. Bag number two. Uh, why did I not get a mold? Okay, now I'm gonna have to place another order and get an epoxy resin mold because there's not one in here. So um, next is seam rippers. If you see behind me, I have tons of sewing machines because I love to sew. That's probably my number one craft thing is I just love to sew. It's just relaxing me. It's fun to me. I am naturally good at it. I don't say that to be prideful, but it's just true. <laughs> uh, I think it's in my bloodline. My grandmother was great. My mom was great. My aunt. Um, so I just really enjoy it. It's fun. But this is an integral part of sewing. And I have one teeny tiny little baby one that is about at the end of its life. So I definitely needed some new seam rippers. Happy to have acquired that. All right. I got a mystery item. Let's crack it open. Oh, some fabric. Don't remember ordering. Why would I order this and not that? Who knows? Oh, but it's super cool. Um, my eighth grade promotion dress was kind of like this. It was like one color and then in different lights and different movement. It was another color. Oh, well, it's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it or why I thought I needed it, but... Uh, it's red and blue and it's kind of neat. So yeah, I have like a half a yard of mirror changing, color changing fabric. Okay. This one I remember getting. This one is way smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Probably shouldn't put my mouth on that, but it's fine. So this is, again, I thought it was going to be bigger. Sometimes you just get what you get. Um, it is some, um, I think they called it like mermaid tool or something like that. And I was thinking I could make a tutu out of it because Riley has um, pink week, spirit week for um, volleyball, which we just had it. And she wanted to wear a tutu. We didn't have one. And so I was ordering this at that same time that that was going on. And I saw it and I'm like, oh, well, I'll make her a tutu for next year. It's a little short, but maybe I can order a couple of more because I think they were like super duper, like, I don't know. I, I hate saying cheap, but very inexpensive. Um, so I could probably order a few more. Oh, look how pretty it is. You can see the iridescence. Um, and I have a ton of tool over there. I could kind of mix and match and put them together. Maybe ruffle the edge with this or something and make her a really cute little tutu with that for Pink Week. Okay, two more items here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Ten colors of mixing. It says, I don't know what that is. Oh, I thought they were heart shaped. I don't know what. Oh, oh, I do. It's Taylor Chalk. Oh my goodness. I 100% needed this. Uh, this was a straight up need. Um, I do a lot of alterations. I don't like alterations. Um, but. I am weirdly good at them. So ugh, it's like getting everywhere. Hopefully they're not broken in there. Oh my goodness. I just reached over here to get this pen. 
to open this up. And here's my little dinky seam ripper that I have. My one, one little baby seam ripper comparatively to these. They're so much harder to hold on to. So I'm excited to have those. Okay, got this open, I think. I had to use a pen to get it open. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I was trying to figure out what in the world because the colors had me really confused. So it's Taylor chalk, but it's colored. I've never seen colored Taylor chalk. Um, but yeah, it just writes really faintly. Um, can you even see it on my hand right there? Onto fabric, but it also wipes off really easily. So whenever you're marking like your alterations and stuff, I've been using a crayon because it is a similar effect, but, and it washes out. So yeah. Oh, I'm very excited to have some Taylor chalk. Okay. What's left? Oh, okay. This is actually kind of for my classroom, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see what I use it for. Oh, it's so cute. And it's so long. Okay. Where is the end? Okay. That took me ridiculously long amount of time to find the end. Okay. It is leaf ribbon. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Let me hide my face here. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Here we go. There we go. All right, now you can see it. It's so pretty, I love it. Um, and goodness, there's so much. I thought I could use it for like bulletin boards or something, but there is enough here to use for a whole lot of things. So super exciting there that is. Okay, and that's the end of my craft haul. Um, yeah, so if you were here just here for the craft portion of it, that's it. I'm done. Thanks so much for popping in. Um, if you want to see a buttload of other Timu products, stay tuned. It's coming. We're at 18 minutes now. This is going to be a solid hour of Timu haul. That's okay. If you're here for it, I'm here for it, and I would love for you to stick around. But if not, thanks for popping into this video. Make sure you check out my links in the description box. Those of you that are staying, check out Past Ivy. <laughs> doing a humongous Timu haul for my classroom, for youth group, for Christmas gifts, for myself. Uh, you're in for it. You're going to see a lot of fun products that you can find on Timu. Okay, so I know I'm doing this in backwards order, but you will have seen the sponsored part of this first, but I'm actually opening um, this monster first because I got it first. So I placed my order for this because I was waiting to see if new campaigns would come open after the first of the month and they did not. So um, I quickly placed my campaign order for that craft haul, um, but I had already placed this order because I could not wait any longer. So within this, like it's really huge. I don't know if you can just really tell the magnitude of the size of this. I really figured it would come in a box because of some of the items I ordered. Um, alas, it did not. So, um, there's stuff in here for my classroom, for, um, youth group, for Christmas, you name it. I have stuff in here for it. So it's got me all dirty. So I'm ready to get it open. I have, um, waited long enough. I got it in the mail yesterday. Did not have time to open it yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I believe it was yesterday. So I'm cutting this baby open. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. The first thing that's in here is a Christmas gift. Now I debated, I was already trying to think like, do I want to show the Christmas gifts on here? Well, um, I think I only have one actual Christmas gift. One's a stocking stuffer and my teenage daughter doesn't watch my channel and my, but my adult daughter does. So sorry, Katie, if you see a Christmas gift in here, um, which is actually a stocking stuffer for you. But the very first thing is a Christmas gift for my teenage daughter. So it is a blanket. And I love how it's um, packaged in this nice poly bag. Like that really is nice. I'm excited to feel what it feels like. It's so soft. Because you know, you get that like cheap. Oh my goodness. It's like baby blanket soft. She's going to die for this. Oh, and on both sides, you know, okay. That's what I was going to say. You get that like cheap fabric and it just feels squeaky. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you know, you know. Um, and sometimes the soft is only on one side. 
but I might just put a picture on the screen because I don't even know. Y'all, trying to find a spot to film in here where the light was decent and the background was decent <laughs> was kind of difficult. So hopefully this isn't too bad. But um, I went for the bigger size of this and I'm glad I did because it's huge. And it says, I am a child of God. It's got all kinds of sayings all over it. Oh my goodness. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which was my dad's favorite verse. If you haven't been following me for a minute, which I realize this kind of haul might bring in some new members. Um, it's hard to say it so almost flippantly, but my dad just passed away a few months ago. Um, so every little thing we're clinging on to. Um, so that verse was one of his favorites. Um, fear is a liar. Joshua 1, 9. That's her life verse. Um but it's be strong and courageous. Let's see. The Lord will fight for me. Exodus 14, 14. So just full of scriptures and affirmations and awesome. Oh my goodness. She is going to love this. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I was really hopeful that this was going to be worth it. Cause I think it was like $17. This was definitely the most expensive thing I purchased. Um, I will also have links to the, in the description box to all these items. If you want them specifically, um, uh, these aren't part of the sponsorship that I'm sure I said that probably at the beginning. Um, this is, I paid for with my own money. Um, but still to get something that gorgeous and so soft worth the price. Okay. Next thing. Okay. Looks like there's multiple things in here. One bag, multiple items. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a kitchen item. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So we have a dish sprayer um, on our kitchen sink, but it does not work. And it has not worked in a long time. So we have water access. But this is one of those cup washers. So you attach it to that water thing and you push your cup down on and it sprays water up into your cup and washes it out. Y'all, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't drink milk and the rest of my family does. Oh yeah, see it even comes with a little hose. Oh my goodness, I'm so stinking excited. Uh, it's plastic, so we'll see how, how it does. But it feels tight, it feels actually pretty quality. So. Anyhow, I don't drink milk. The rest of my family does. And half the time, they just like barely, you know, run a, a drop of water in there to rinse their cup out. So I am very, very excited to see if this works. Uh, stay tuned on a weekly vlog to see how it goes. We'll probably, probably install it ASAP. Oh, okay. This is for my classroom. Oh my goodness. This has seen better days. This is why I was kind of thinking it would be in a box because... This poly bag is not doing any justice for the uh, quality of the product, but this is stacking chairs. It's just a little game and it's all these little chairs and you just try and stack them and build your little chair tower as high as you can get it. I thought it would be a fun little um, indoor recess type of activity or something like that. So I think it was maybe a dollar or two, like super cheap. So I figured I would go ahead and get it. Um, you get what you get, you know. <laughs> All right, one more thing in here. Okay, this is also for my classroom. Uh, I don't think this is the color I ordered, but that's okay. Oh yeah, okay. The tape just made it look yellow. It's not yellow, it's white. Okay. It is a little nine drawer organizer. Um, my thought was to put stickers for my sticker store in it and just kind of keep them sorted into this and keep it on my teacher desk so that when I needed to refill my sticker store, I could have it in some sort of organized way um, and be able to grab from it pretty quickly and refill it. But uh, in reality, and you're fixing to see, I'm going to have way more stickers than this will accommodate, but, um, it's good in theory and hopefully it does end up working out for me. Okay. Next, uh, super excited about this because I actually had something very different in my cart. And then I saw this and I very quickly changed my mind because 
It is a table runner. Uh, nice feeling quality. It's like a canvas feeling thing, but it is a pumpkin and football and red football helmet, which we are Chiefs fans. So, and it's just a repeating pattern, but how stinking cute is that? I mean, you could almost even like it, the pattern is opposite. So when you, it's on your table, you know, you put something in the middle, but I could almost like hang this outside, like a little flag or something. I love it. It's so cute. And it's so long. I don't know how long it is. I can't even hold it. So it's definitely longer than five ish feet. Um, but yeah, super cute little fall table runner. I have yet to decorate for fall in the time I'm filming this, but, and I hate to even say these words, but the plan is to decorate tomorrow. But I literally, every time I have said that the plan has not worked and we have not decorated yet. So hopefully tomorrow is that day and maybe getting this item will be just the ticket to, um, force my hand and make it happen. Okay. Next. Oh, oh, okay. I forgot I got this. This is another Christmas gift. Um, it is for my daughter, Riley. She's the teenager. She's 16, 16. <laughs> Why did I not know her age for a moment? Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Um, so she is very, oh, this is so soft y'all. So I've only ordered from Timo one other time and it was last Christmas and I ordered her a shacket. And it was super cheap compared to all the other shackets. Um, and, but so I expected it to be terrible quality and it was not, it was a very nice quality. And I think I ordered her a couple pairs of jeans because they were like $4. And so, and they were nice quality too. So I know people do not like fast fashion. They don't like this kind of shopping, um, to each their own. I'm going to say it that way. Okay. But this shirt, um, is very much her aesthetic, but it is like a Western-y type of scene, but it says his mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lamentations 323. So, um, I think she's going to love that. It is definitely her color palette. Um, she loves these kind of shirts and I'm not even, this is so soft, like definitely makes me want to get more t-shirts from Timu because that is ridiculously soft. She's going to love that. Okay, that over there with her pile. Y'all, there's so much in this bag. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> okay, that was my husband. He's fixing the leave. He's just telling me bye. Okay, next item. I don't remember ordering this. I'm going to have to look back at my order. It's another shacket. But I don't remember ordering a shacket. And why would I order another one? Oh, it's a large. So maybe it was for me. Did I order myself something? Oh my gosh, it is so soft. So again, I don't remember ordering this. Um, I must have though. Okay, it says it's a large, which would fit me. Yeah, this would very much fit me. And oh my goodness, it is so soft. This is like so similar to the one I got for Riley last year. Um, but it's very good quality. It's not like super duper thick. So it'll be perfect for like these early fall months. Um, when it's just like a crisp day, that's like today while I have my jacket on, but, um, yeah, I must've ordered this for myself since I got a large totally did not remember doing that. <laughs> I should have looked back at my order, but you know, it's one of those things where I just had so many things in my cart, And finally I was like, I am checking out right now. I pretty sure I got a shirt for myself but I haven't found it yet. And I don't remember it being that, but maybe that's what I decided to get instead of the other shirt. I don't even know anymore. Okay. This is stuff for church and my classroom. And there's a crap ton of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So first of all, little miniature basketball hoops. Okay. I had to get it out of the packaging because it was so stinking loud. Um, so it's literally just a little game and you just flip it and make it in there. Um, oh, I made it. So these are for my treasure box um, at, at, at school. I was going to say at church, not at church, at school. Okay. Teeny tiny, super duper miniature poppets. Now, poppets have about run their course, but 
Miniatures have not. The kids are going to go bananas over these miniature poppets. Like, I, they're not the biggest on the big poppets anymore, but I'm telling you, these miniature ones, they go nuts over. And there's so many in here. 33, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, I don't know. I don't see a quantity on here. But they were like $3. So you can't beat it. Um, and again, for my treasure box. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to split it up and keep on my school stuff. And then I'll show you my church stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to devour this bag really quick. So it doesn't take me quite so long to get through because there's so much stuff in here. Okay. <laughs> there's so much. I do not remember several of these items and I'm like, did they put it in my accident or am I just that ridiculous? Like, I don't even know. Okay. I'm going to stick with the, where was I at? I don't even know. Okay. Classroom stuff. So I'm going to stick with my classroom stuff. Um, but it is so comical. I'm going to start right here off the bat. So all the rest of my classroom is stickers, but there's also a few mystery items. So we'll open those together because I didn't want to like open them and be surprised. And there's a lot more personal items too. I thought it was all for my classroom and youth group. So, oh my word, this video is going to be like 40 minutes long. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, I picked up this pack of stickers because it's supposed to be sports, but literally right here on top is a Samuel Adams sticker. So I am 1000% going to have to go through every single one of these stickers. Um, because I have heard from other teachers, you have to really comb through your stickers for sticker store because they're sneaky because they, you know, I don't know. They put some very inappropriate things in there. So anyway, these are supposed to be sports figures for my boys. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we get. These will be the first to go. All my students love stitch. Um, I, I have a stitch lanyard right now that I'm wearing because my kids are just going gaga over stitch right now. Every year they have, but this year is like amplified. So a pack of stitch stickers. Um, these are all like food items. So like French fries, I think there's like condiments and stuff like that in there. Kids like that kind of weird thing. Um, don't remember ordering these. They probably won't go well. They look very babyish. Um, again, you just, sometimes I feel like you just get what you get. Um, these are all, I don't even know, fruit, food. I don't know what they are. Stuff's falling over here. There's so much. Okay. It's not all fruit. It's very random. Like I can't even show you like a sunshine. A oh no, no. Popsicle. Oops. How um, ironic. Okay. All kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have to pick those up. Just very random assortment of stickers. So do you see why I ordered this little guy to sort out all of these thousands of stickers? Check out my weekly vlog. I will probably give a detailed update of some of my fave stickers. These are Highland cows or just cows in general. The kids are bananas over cows. They're so funny. Oh no, these are just the animals. These are like the little um, almost what would you call them? Like kawaii or something like that. Like it's just super cute little animals. Maybe they're like all farm animals, cows and pigs. Oh yeah. They do look like all cows and pigs, but I see the Highland cow package that I got too. So they, there's a lot of stickers. Four more packs, five, five counting. <laughs> this is all, and they've got them all where the stickers over the picture. So that's why I can't show you. Um, these are all Highland cows. So dang cute. Yep. Kids and their Highland cows. Like, I don't know if it's just because we're like country. We live in a very rural area or if the whole world is just crazy about Highland cows right now. Sports balls. These are all smiley faces of different varieties. Um, don't know what these are. Probably just random. <laughs> Yes, very random. We got some hamsters, sunflowers in a jar. Yeah, just very random. I'm not going to put them back in the thing. And then this looks like more stitch. Did I order two stitch packets? Wouldn't put it past me. Weird but cute. That's me. Oh, yeah, these are all stitch. Oh, my gosh. But I'm telling you, these are going to be the hot ticket. Like, everyone's going to want stitch. This looks like Indiana Jones. Stitch, Stitchy Indiana Jones. Okay. 
I'm going to regret not putting those back in there. Okay. I'm trying to hurry because, oh my gosh, there's still so much guys. Okay. Um, I got several keychains for my youth group. How do I want to do this? I don't want to take them all out of their packaging, but you can't see them all. They have scripture verses on them. Okay. So here's an example of one. It says in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And it has a compass. Um, so many of my students right now are drivers. So I got a lot of keychains. I got a lot of these crosses that have different verses. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I don't know if that's exactly this translation, but I was, um, referencing it from my brain. So I've got another, I've got one here, one here, but they all have different verses on the cross ones. Um, and these were all literally like a dollar or less. So, um, just trying to think of things that teenagers like, you know, um, a nice little leather bracelet that says I heart Jesus on it. Um, this one was a like no need to size ring. It says faith over fear. I actually got this for myself, um, as a toe ring because I lost my toe ring guys. I've had that ring for probably eight to 10 years. Um, and I got it because I lost my previous one that I had had since high school. And that about broke my heart. I was so sad about it. Um, but it said hope. And this is really my like slogan right now, faith over fear, big time in my life. Um, and since it wasn't sized, I could squeeze it down. I'm going to see if it works for my toe. Um, but yeah, I was so sad that I lost that. I lost that at the water slide. Um, and then this one says, let God lead. And it's just like a little cross and then another cross. Okay. So I think that's all for the keychains. And then I got a lot of like dude necklaces. This one's super cool. I, my son's going to snag this one. He is going to want it because it is a flag in a cross. Oh, there, there's a good, but it's got like the matte black. The chain's kind of weird, but yeah, just trying to get some good stuff. I mean, I've the stuff we have in there is lame. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, and then this I didn't realize was a multi pack. I thought I was just choosing one color, but it's these, um, like the four nails necklaces or three nails. Sorry, three nails. Um, but it looks like there's a black, a silver, and a gold. All three in there. And then I thought I got two of these, but this one's just says Jesus and tea and it's a spoon, just like a stirring spoon. But I thought I got one that also said Jesus and coffee, but there's not one in here. So who knows? <laughs> um, and I got this little pen. It says I can do all things through Christ period through Christ. Um, I thought that was something different, a really pretty dainty cross necklace. Who knows the quality of this jewelry? Riley, I think has some Timu jewelry um, that she wears quite often. I don't think it turns her green. Um, these were really cool. They are leather bookmarks. It's just super simple and, oh, it's upside down. Be still and know that I am God, Psalm 4610. So um, each one has a different scripture on it. And I thought that was a great thing to add to the birthday box. And lastly, and these are way nicer than I thought they would be. They are very heavy um, and great quality, but it's uh, just an ink pen that says, I am always with you. Um, all kinds of different sayings, trust in the Lord, walk by faith, God is love. Um, very quality. And it's got a stylus on the end, which who uses a stylus anymore? I don't think really anybody. Um, but yeah, there's, I think a dozen in here. So unless one of these mystery items is for school or church, the rest is for me. <laughs> so um, I guess I'll start with the mystery items just because um, to see what they are. But the little labels tell me absolutely nothing. Surprise, surprise. Oh, okay. Oh, should I show this? This is my bestie's birthday present. Her birthday was last week. I will see her before this video goes out. I believe her birth, her birthday was Sunday and oh my goodness, it is totally spelt wrong, but that's okay. It's a keychain, and it says through thick and thin, and it's not even connected to the little card, but it's just super simple. And y'all, it was literally like a couple bucks, but 
I just like getting something, but it's a big thick piece and a thin piece. So somewhat cheesy, but it says the best kind of people are the ones that come into your life and make you see sunshine where you once saw clouds. The people who believe in you so much, you begin to believe in yourself too. The people who love you no matter what through thick and thin, the once in a lifetime people. And that is my best friend. And we have matching tattoos, um, our anchors, cause we anchor each other. Um, but it says the word through is spelled wrong with an I. <laughs> what the heck? Um, but I just thought it was super neat. And um, I'm glad it came in in time. I will see her again, hopefully before this comes out. Um, but yeah, I just, that's what was in the mystery box there. Um, this is not a mystery because it does have, it says coffee color. So I know what it is. Um, but I guess it's a mystery to you, isn't it? Mm, what is it? What is it? It's actually a very odd color. How do I open it? Okay. It is a travel contact case with a mirror and a little vial that you can put contact solution in and a little contact case that goes in there and then a tweezer and a suction cup. Like who actually would use that on their eyeballs? Not I. But I loved the idea of having the little miniature case or, um, you know, contact solution thing. Like, uh, it's as a contact wearer, I'm not even kidding. It is a pain in the butt to have to take a travel, even a travel size, um, contact solution. So anyway, I thought this was perfect, perfect for me anyhow, um, for my contacts for traveling. Super excited about that. Okay, next, this is kind of a mystery item. I don't really know what it is. So let's find out together. Oh, oh, okay. It is a windowsill cleaner. Like, you know, where the track is and it's like super disgusting. I'm actually so excited about that. <laughs> so yeah, it's to clean the track of your windowsill. And like, because it's angled, it like gets up in the corner. Oh my goodness, you have no idea. Living in the country, our windowsills are nasty. Okay, this one's hilarious to me because it is like about a fifth of the size that I imagined it would be, but you know, you get what you get. Uh, but it is an ice scraper and we need them here because we also have winter. So I don't know. I thought it was going to be much bigger than it is. Okay, this one's actually really funny and I don't know if I'll keep it for myself or put it in my like gift bin, like you know, when I need a gift for somebody, but it is a coin that you flip and one side says wife's choice and the other side says husband's choice. So whenever you're like, what do you want? No, what do you want? What do you want? You flip the coin and that's how you decide. I thought that was really fun. Uh, these are for Aiden. These are clay um, slingshot BBs. So they're good for the environment and everything because they're clay. So they'll biodegrade and he has metal ones. But, you know, when you shoot those metal ones, there's a chunk of metal now out in the woods or whatever. Um, I have zero reason for buying this other than it's so cute. And I think it was like 50 cents. So it's just a little glass turtle and it says you're turtly awesome. And no reason. It's just cute. <laughs> All right. This next item. Oh, I totally thought it was going to be a solid chunk, but it's a stainless steel bar of soap. Um onion smell sticks to my hands really bad. And I've always heard about these, um, and thought I would give it a try, but supposedly if you wash your hands with stainless steel after cutting onions, it takes the scent away. So we'll give that a try. Someone told me Dawn dish soap and salt, and that actually has worked. Um, so I may not need that anymore, honestly, but for now I got it. These are transparent sticky notes. So I thought they were really cute for like Bible note taking and stuff like that. Riley really enjoys that. So I figured I would grab a set of this, give them a try, see how sticky they are and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of Riley, these aren't for her, but they were kind of going to be. I've had them in my Timu cart forever. And then her boyfriend got her a set for like their anniversary, their one year anniversary. He had gotten her one at another point, but she had lost them. Um, anyway, so they're aesthetic highlighters. Let me tell you what they are. Um, but she loves them so much. I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get them and just have them for, um, like highlighting in my Bible and stuff, but they're really 
pale. So they're not like bright or like soak through your page. Um, so they're actually really nice. It specifically says Bible highlighters. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to have those myself. Okay. This one's comical as well. Okay. Um, it's cute, but one, I thought it was metal because it looks like metal. And two, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, but it's plastic. It is cute. And I wear my hair half up in a clip so much. This, it will be perfect to wear like half up in a clip. It'll hold my hair good. But I thought it was going to be way bigger than this based on the picture of it again on someone's head, you know, but she cute Minnie Mouse. Okay, these next two things, I had to buy them separately, but um, Riley has like an itty bitty waist, and but she got hips because she's a girl, you know, um, but these were super cute. You like put them on your pants and then let me take one out. Oh, I maybe you have to sew them on. I, I missed that. I thought that they pinned to your pants, but anyway, um, I can sew them on for her, no problem, but you attach them somehow. How does this work? Okay. And then it's a cute little like buckle, like on the side of your pants that tightens and cinches the waist in without having to wear a belt. Um, I don't know how to do this. Let's see. There we go. I did it and then I undid it. Um, but yeah, then it looks like that. So I got her again. I thought they like pinned on my my mistake for not checking it better but anyway I got her two one for each side of her pants um but now we would have to choose what pants to sew them onto I thought we were going to be able to move them from pant to pant so we'll see if they even are worth anything or not I think again they were just a few cents so it's definitely worth it I'm in my craft room I can add them to my craft collection of some sort or another okay Speaking of, we love the Chiefs. Tonight is Kansas City Chiefs game, so this is perfect timing for this to arrive. Figured I would grab that and show the whole world how much we love our Chiefs. Okay, three items left. This one's for me, and it says teacher, and it says teach them, love them, watch them grow. I always need another pencil pouch, especially I'm going to college. Um, I carry around a backpack most of the time, so to keep pins in, I keep my... Um, filming equipment and stuff in my backpack a lot and I have a couple of pouches in there so it would be nice to have that pouch for I don't know maybe specifically my ink pens or something so I'm excited about it I'll let you have another look it's super cute thought about getting it on a t-shirt but I, I just didn't okay um, and then the next item is kind of I mean it's a crafty item but it is a like exacto knife in the form of an ink pen. So that is so nice. I might actually take this to my classroom because I have needed stuff like this so often up there. I have a big box knife, but I'm like using a big old box knife for like detail work. Um, but it also would be really nice to have in here, but it's essentially like a Cricut blade. If you've got a Cricut, that's almost exactly what a Cricut blade looks like. I can't, here we go. Um, but yeah, it's super cool. So I chose pink. There was a ton of different colors. And again, it was just a few cents. So I definitely decided to add that to my cart. Okay. Last thing is my gift for one of my children. And you'll know which one it is as soon as you see it, but that's okay. She doesn't love surprises anyways. She's, she's, um, very gung ho. She likes she likes to know things ahead of time anyways, so it's going to be all right, but it is a stocking stuffer, so you have to wait till Christmas, okay? Uh, so it is for my child that's name starts with a K, but it is a really cute travel jewelry case. So she's traveled for work a couple of times, got some trips planned possibly for next year, um, but I just thought it was super cute. They didn't even have an R or an I, so I was like, well, I can at least get one for one of the girls in our family. Um, but it's super nice, but I mean, that's just as cute with a little, um, varsity letter K and it's, it's patched and it's super duper cute. So anyhow, again, just a couple dollars. Hopefully I will have had enough sense about me to put, um, all the prices on the screen. All the links will be in the description box. I know this was overwhelming. Gracious 37 minutes. And that is not even including the sponsorship part of this at the beginning. 
Um, thankfully, that's far fewer items. But y'all, I have made an incredible mess of my craft room here. Um, but wow, that is so much stuff. And um, my total was $167. But before it was over $400. So with Timu, um, I will have already talked about this at the beginning. When you sign up, you get um, an over $200 um, coupon package that you can use towards your order. Um, if you're a new subscriber, you get that package. A new subscriber, a new member or person to download the app, you get that package. But I'm going to tell you, there are coupon packages that come out every single time. So even if you're a return customer to Timu, they have the best deals. Like I said, I've ordered from them before. So all of these discounts were not because I was an influencer and not because I was a first time buyer. They just have incredible deals all the time. And they send, they can send you notifications when the item in your cart, the price has dropped. Um, or sometimes things go out of stock. And so they'll send you a notification whenever it comes back in stock. And so that actually happened with a couple of items. That was another reason I went ahead and pulled the trigger because heaven knows, I don't can't tell you which one it was at this point. But one of the items I was hoping for came back in stock. So I was like, I better order now before it goes out of stock again. So if you are looking for Christmas shopping at a very affordable price, um, if you're a teacher, if you're a youth leader, they have so many amazing affordable items as you can see here. So um, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Check out all my links in the description box. Um, if you are interested in any of these items, they should take you there, specifically the ones from the craft haul. Those are going to definitely take you to those items because they provided those for me. All the rest of these, I got to go get myself. Um, but yeah, if, if you are interested in any of these items, I will say, I probably already mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, but I will get a small commission from items that you purchase. And um, I, if you sign up for a first time user, you and I both will get $5. So that's, you know, hey, exchange it. But as always, no pressure. If you don't want to support my channel in this way, no biggie, that's fine. You do not have to follow any of my links. Just go to Timu and search them your own self. Don't follow my links. Um, no skin off my back. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this uber long video. Oh my goodness. I did not come into this um, partnership with Timu to do hour long videos, but I'm kind of here for it too. So I hope you are as well. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the description box. Is there anything that you saw here that you're excited about that you might go purchase yourself? Um, you know, are you going to download Timu? I would love to know that. So um, yeah, if you already shop Timu, what are your go-to items? What are the things that you purchase? I am loving everything I got so far. Like it, like I said, I think I said it in the video. When you're poor, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Um, and so I am excited about that. Maybe I said that in my weekly vlog. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but anyhow, if you enjoyed it, I would love to hear from you in the comment box. Um, if you have watched this video this long, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. Um, I guarantee there will be more Timu hauls to come because I am already loving this partnership with them. I already have my next campaign lined up. I'm excited about it. So if you're excited about it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Um, I also do weekly vlogs and grocery hauls. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe. Stick around and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for coming along on this video with me. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.